All right, in this lecture, we're going to go ahead and download server 2012. So I'm going to go ahead and start Internet Explorer. Okay, and we're just going to search for, uh, let's see, Windows Server 2012, and we'll just do R2 download. Okay, and it says right here, try Windows Server 2012 R2. Okay, we'll click there. All right, so it brought us straight down to it. It's pretty smart. The website's pretty smart. So it dropped us right down to server 2012 R2. There's a 180 day evaluation download that's available for free. Now you just need to register. That's it. So I've already registered. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in. So I will drag this off screen. That way there's no personal data exposed. Okay, so I've went ahead and logged in. Now we're gonna to wanna to choose the ISO as the file type. So we're gonna say register to continue. Okay, and I'm just gonna leave all this blank so you can't see any of this information. I'm just, I'm gonna click continue. Okay, just keep clicking continue through the screens. Click that again. Am I not filling something out? No, okay, this is just slow. All right, so we're gonna go for this long file name down here at the bottom, okay? It's the wind blue refresh, uh, you know, 143.17, blah, 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 okay? So it's 64 bit, so we're gonna go ahead and click download. And it's 4.22 gigabytes, and we're gonna click save, okay? All right, and now we're gonna wait for this to download. All right, so the download is completely finished. Now I am storing it on a, ex uh, not an external, but a second hard drive. So I'm not gonna drag it to my desktop. So here's the file, it's completely downloaded, 4.22 gigabytes, and we are ready to start installing Server 2012. So I will see you in the next lecture.